Okay, then, Descendants, it seems that they have been busy at Nexon with a absolutely ginormous patch for 1.0.5 that's brought so much in the mix. Today, we're going to be giving you guys a breakdown, showing you through the store everything new and some of the changes that they've made with a few director's comments. Hopefully you do enjoy this. If you do, make sure you're smashing the beautiful blue thumbs up. Subscribe, post notifications turned on. Be greatly appreciated. And get involved in the giveaway. We're giving away 1,060 caliber right now. If you guys want to get involved with it, simply head down to the comment section and put a music emoji for Luna in the comment section it'll enter you in we'll give away the announcement for that in the description you'll click on the link for discord and the giveaway announcement sector will have the winner so let's dive on into everything that we've got happening inside of the first descendant today is there seems to be a lot going on we're not going to mess around we're going to dive straight into the shop to begin with because i know that that's going to be what a lot of you guys are looking at with two new characters of ultimate valby and luna being the new forefront you guys are going to be on the grind and wanting to make them look amazing so you can now get the new descendant lunas limited bundle for 1650 and what is it that that actually gets you is all of this here the original character herself the skin on the side the awesome little chest armor piece plus the functional item for the descendant slot plus one which means that you guys are just going to be able to add one additional slot in with some very cool stuff in sold 1650 for that one very nice indeed when we go through into the other stuff though we have got a lot going on we can take a look at the ultimate descendant right here we now have ultimate valby bundle the small one and the large one which gives you guys absolutely everything in sold if we look at the large one right here, we can see that we have got the ultimate Valby piece and it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible and definitely something you guys want to be getting your hands on indeed. Hopefully though, you'll be just grinding for it in game instead of spending this ridiculous amount of money, which is about 70 odd great british pounds it's ridiculous but the helmet that comes in tail with this one looks incredible now this is limited to purchase only and the same with this right here which it doesn't leave much to the imagination it definitely looks very very cool as well as this cool looking back attachment which is the firefighting tank again looks absolutely incredible and i would like to say that it probably changes the amount of level in water based on obviously what it is that you're moving around in again would be amazing if so we have got the water bomb spawn which is actually insanely cool i actually really like the look of that as well as the energy activator the crystallization catalysts and the plus one descendant slot nice and easy one although you're going to be paying through the teeth if you're going to be paying for that one so that is completely up to you as far as event skins go though they're leaning big time into the summer right now you can see right here that we have got for valby the summer theme and uh yeah this 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 leaves absolutely nothing to the imagination at all with the ponytail cut on top, which looks absolutely awesome, I may add. We've also got Vase's summer theme, which again is summery. I don't know how else to word this. <laughs> But that looks quite cool with the glowing earrings. I quite like that with the messy bun on back. And then we have obviously got the summer theme set right here. Now this can be purchased per account. The skins attachments include in the bundle can be found for the customization menu. Now this looks cool. This is on Lepic. You can also get the same thing on Ajax. You can get it on Jaber, Blair, Eugene, Enzo smo and kyle and you can kind of see where this is going J kyle is tiny outside of that armor isn't he crikey but yeah very cool stuff very cool stuff a great way to actually utilize that one so those skins are now available for the next 56 days does that say i can't really read it 56 days 14 hours as well as all the stuff that was already in here and they've also ad added in some more of the made sets so we obviously have got this right here for luna very cool this one looks incredible these made outfits do look very very good and i actually think that they've done an amazing job with that one i believe the frainer one was the frainer one in there last time i don't think it was I think that that might actually be new as well. They've done definitely done a very good job with this one. That is for damn sure. It's very, very good to see. 
And then we obviously have the Glay one again. Very freaking cool. And they've got the motion. Yeah, you guys know exactly where I'm going with it. But yeah, they've got all of that stuff there. Premium skins. We've now got the Lunar's Augmented Reality of Madness. And this, this is crazy as hell. Crazy as hell, but it looks really damn cool. You can obviously add your colorizations into this alongside the helmet, which is very bunny-esque, but that is baffling. You see on the visor, it kind of like glows pink when it turns. Very, very nice. They've done an amazing job with that. We have seen this already inside of the beta, so you guys now finally have access to be able to purchase that one alongside the helmet, which is obviously the kitty cat very freaking cool and then we have got this right here for jaber the cowl that we've again seen through reddit this makes jaber look badass this was such a cool piece and something that um i believe a lot of people that used jaber back in the beta were actually running this because it doesn't get much cooler than that man like look at that it looks absolutely incredible but yeah, everything else in the store will be running through. You can see everything that's in here. Blair's obviously got his update points. And we've obviously got the uh, SMO Frenzied Leadership. It all looks pretty damn cool, man. It looks pretty damn cool. We have some new pieces inside of here, which is exclusive head skins for Luna. I think that they've done amazing with this. The only thing, obviously, is that all of this is really high priced. So if you don't want to pay the money for it, then, well don't but yeah a lot of things are going told as far as the common skins the cheapest ones of the bunch no updates there but we do obviously have the makeup which is sly for luna it looks very very cutesy very cutesy and then obviously this piece here which is the summer ringlet it it looks hilarious this is a freaking pink salamander man it's a pink freaking salamander all in all though very very good very cool and they've obviously put a lot of work into this but on top of that they have made a lot of changes and as you can see right here we obviously have the first descendant update for 1.0.5 which is obviously up on the website if you guys want to take a deeper dive into it which goes through all of the stuff such as valby's modification mod modules which we've already heard about over recent weeks although they've also added the ultimate valby amorphous materials in here now so you you can see right here that they've actually done quite a lot they've removed a load of amorphous patterns added in the aa variants of it so you can now obviously get the ultimate valby's blueprint and code materials that will replace one of the items available from the original amorphous it's pretty damn good they've done an amazing job and the same with luna right here you can see these figures these numbers that can no longer be acquired and then the new ones that you can now acquire for the enhanced cell blueprint stabilizer blueprint spiral catalyst blueprint and the code for luna all of these will be available for the original amorphous and it's just absolutely amazing as far as the new hard mode goes they've added in a new void intercept battle for gluttony and this one looks freaking cool he looks badass although disappointingly still in the same outer scenery that we've been in this whole damn time which is absolutely gutting I really wish that that was something that they hadn't actually done. And just taking a quick look in game at where that is inside of hard. You can now obviously scroll across and that's going to be at level 140. So you cannot intercept that without getting these two done first. So for those of you guys that are stuck on the Frostwalker, that is going to be an absolute nightmare. Was not added into the regular base levels. Obviously, this is only going to be on hard mode. So to get to this... It's going to take some work getting through the Frostfire Walker and the Molten Fortress, which I'm yet to do both. So it's an absolute nightmare. But nonetheless, it's still going to be available. Now, on top of that, we also have the Gluttony External Components set right here. The Hungry Sonic Set two-piece set effects grants a toxin resistance four-piece set grants an effect that recovers mp on hitting the target with a skills unique weapon as well as an effect that increases skill duration and mp heal modifier proportionally to max mp 
Very nice. Very nice. We've also got the first envisionment right here for the Peacemaker. Now, this looks very, very strange to be completely honest with you. But this is the new ultimate equipment. And right here, we can see what it states is that they've added a new ultimate weapon Peacemaker using a dimension skill grants. The single reload for peace effect. At maximum stacks, the single reload for peace effect enables you to fire the loaded amount in a single quick burst when taking an aim shot so overall quite an awesome little piece i don't know how much damage this thing's gonna do but it looks absolutely tiny i'm pretty sure that's the barrel just there so this thing is like a little stubby it's like half a gun in one shootman makes absolutely no sense new module though we've got the rk concretion decreases the movement speed fire attack and all attack um, attributes except for the non-attribute attack every time a skill is used but each stack of rk concretion increases defense and mp a very nice little usable piece and obviously these are all of the added pieces for new products inside of the store which we've already gone through and shown you as far as the hotfix goes though boys this is mental there is absolutely loads so many bug fixes, so many changes, and they've just not even messed around with this at all. We have had quite a lot when it comes to content improvements, though, um, where they've actually done loads. You can see just here, they've added the camera shake on and off feature, which was actually something that people were screaming for. So I'm glad that that's finally here. And on PlayStation and Xbox, they've added the ability to select uh, preset search keywords to make it easier to search modules and research overall. They've also done this right here, which is a big one where you can now check key stat information in the weapon reactor and external component inventories, which is absolutely huge. And you can now register equipped items as attached items. Saving a preset now automatically registers equipped items, so on and so forth. Load of little bits and bobs. The map no longer displays the marker when a quest NPC is being tracked disappears. Like I said, there's loads of little bits and bobs that are inside of that where they've added the red dot when acquiring paint. Yeah, that's a thing. Made load changes to descendant modules, including the poison contagion range of Frainer's Room Zero Trauma from a 4 meter radius to a 7 meter radius, which is actually really good. That was a really, really good mod on its own as it goes anyway. But they've also increased the maximum scaling range of Valby skills from 200 to 250. The maximum scaling range of Blair skills from 200 to 250. And they've changed the Blizzard generated by Vase's Glacier Cloud module to be triggered instantly without delay. That's quite nice. They've changed Valby's Albion Academy Cadet head skin to be dieable, which is long overdue anyway. And they've also changed the incoming final damage to incoming f damage modifier in the description of the safe recovery module. Equipment wise, they've made a few little changes here. Some percentages which have made things such as the secret gardens crit hit damage increase. The enduring legacies crit hit damage also increased. They've done quite a lot when it comes to that one. Actually, they've made some really big changes to that. The numbers are really, really through the roof. from 1.85 to 2.25. That's actually a really good buff point. They've done quite a lot of buffing here, which is amazing. But the biggest one in here for me is that they increase the amount of void shards that can be acquired from special operations by about seven times. That is huge. Now, their hot fix for this one, and they state here, they've added void shards as rewards to special operations, but unfortunately, there were just too few. The original intent was to keep void fragments as the primary farming source for void shards and get additional void shards from special operations. But the community has told us that many of you don't like this loop, so we've increased the amount of void shards that can be earned via the special operations. We're also working on some steps for future improvements. Many players are currently farming materials without spending the fragments in the fusion reactor so we're considering removing the fragments from the fusion reactor startup altogether this would make the fragments necessary only when the reconstructing device is used at the fusion reactor we're taking a close look at how the reward loop we planned works in practice and we'll try to finalize a reward loop that players will be satisfied with in the near future overall though quite a good change i think that that's something that they definitely need to look into me myself i'm just starting to come around to terms with it be in the way that it is but it's definitely something that they need to make some alterations to because the end game for this is absolutely brutal it's just not what you kind of really want it to be or at least that's just my personal opinion 
They made some other changes here where they've reduced the distance you're knocked down when hit by a trap, lowered the ratio of which the named monster immunity sphere HP scales with the number of players in infiltration operations, increased the hitbox and data collection, yada, yada, yada. Again, some very, very cool changes, although nothing massively large. The adjustment for the distance that spawns monsters spawn in the laboratory to be closer than uh, as 15 meters. Again, they're all really cool changes, but these aren't things that you guys will necessarily feel or unless you're like a grade on this freaking hotspot that you're going to know anything really about. So it is quite nice as well that they've made improvements. They've applied AMD FSR 3.1, optimized memory usage, optimized the resolution to increase the maximum resolution by at least 5%, which is great. And bug fixes, well, you can see on screen how many bug fixes they actually did. There is just a consistent amount of bug fixes. Um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you guys if you want to go and take a look at things in greater detail. But overall, this new update has just completely put a spanner in the works and is absolutely amazing to see. Uh, it's really interesting to see where this one's going to go and if this one's going to last out. But as of right now, if we have a look at the Steam DB, the, obviously the update has been live now for about eight hours, give or take. And we've got 109,000 currently playing with 118,000 as the peak. Obviously, the last month has been about a quarter of a million. But even then, the numbers are absolutely incredible and they've done such a good job. And we can see right here that the amount jumped massively where the game was obviously down for maintenance and went from 5,000 straight up to 118,000 within like a couple of hours. So it's really good to see that the game has got people there wanting to play, waiting to jump in, wanting to do all of this new content. And I'm really intrigued to see how this one's going to go. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. This one's a massive video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, then make sure you smash the like button and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Stick around. We've got live streams going up for the next 48 hours. It's going to be incredible. And if you want to support me a little bit extra and you manage to this part of the video, make sure you use my creator code. The link is going to be the top link in the description. Go and check it out. It'd be greatly appreciated. But as always, until the next time, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.